Thank you, everybody. I hope you can all hear me. Um, it's my absolute pleasure today to welcome you all here to celebrate what is an amazing achievement um, for an amazing guy and an amazing player. Um, Jared is going to join only 18 other players in the history of the game that's played 300 matches um, at the one club. That's how hard it is. It's, it's the toughest game in the world, this game, and to get through 50, 100 games, but get to 300 at the one club, very, 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 very few view people, players, get to, get to match that. Um, and in my time here, no one deserves it more than Jared Croker. Um, I can honestly say that. Um, we might have others down the track that, that reach that goal, but no one's deserved it more than him. Um, when I spoke to him about, and we spoke to him about missing the game last week to play this, to play it here at his home ground, he simply said, whatever's best for the club. And, and that ultimately sums up Jared Croker. He's a very, very selfless player. Um, on and off the field, no better role model for this club. Never caused any trouble off the field. Never been suspended in 300 matches. Um, probably responsible for hundreds of kids in this region registered to play rugby league to be like Jared Croker. To wear the headgear, to kick goals. Um, as I said, immensely proud to have you here. Our club is so lucky to have him. Um, and I'm, I'm glad everyone's going to be here. I'm really, really glad that we're going to be celebrating it in Canberra because, as I said, no one deserves it more than Jared Croker. I'd like to call Ricky Stewart up here to say a few words for Jared, but also congratulations, Jared, and we look forward to a wonderful game this weekend. Thanks, thanks, Don. It's uh, it's an honour to be able to stand here and pay uh, my respects and admiration to uh, uh, a great a great bloke, a great captain. Um, to achieve this uh, milestone is, is significant milestone is a um, incredible, and some of the hardships you've had to go through, mate, to get here over the last two or three years is just a um, typifies your um, your hardness, your uh, relentless, uncompromising uh, um, work to get here because it has been very difficult for you, um, Britt, Paul, and your mother, uh, Greg, your father. Uh, and your children, it's it's obviously can't be done on their on your own, mate. Um, having that support is critical, and and Brit, I know what it's like as a as a wife and having to, having to live with the uh, the highs and the lows. Um, but that support, um, I I want to thank you, but also congratulate you guys because you've been there for every one of them with him. Um, I have to agree with Don. <clears throat> you're you're just a you're, you're a wonderful role model, mate, as a Raider. I love it how you're a one-club player. Um, I love the fact that uh, how loyal and the love you have for this, for this jumper and club. Um, it'll never, ever be forgotten. So congratulations, and, and along with Don, I'm so happy that we can have it here at home um, in front of, front of so many people that uh, also respect you and admire you, mate. And, um, the, role, the role model you are for so many young children out there in the country areas here in Canberra, um, it's, a, uh, it's just so, so deserving. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's... Um yeah, it's, it's hard to it's hard to put into words, really. I, I didn't even expect this, to be honest. When they said a press conference, I thought it was just going to be the usual suspects and the boys in the background give it a bit of cheek. So, um, look, I, I'm so grateful for the, the opportunity this club's given me. Um, you know, I spent, I've spent more than half my life here, um, you know, and there's guys, guys in this room, Papa and uh, obviously Jack and Rapper and, and guys like that who we've... I speak about a lot. I'm, I'm so proud to be able to play with those guys for a long period of time and um, watch our families grow up together. And um, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And um, yeah, it's so many people to thank and uh, go through. Obviously, my family. Um, I'll start with mum and dad. Obviously, they're, um, you know, they're, they're, they're. I'm so lucky to have such a great upbringing. It's um, you know, I was I was very blessed as a kid. Um, you know, I never had any, never had any difficulties. Everything was about uh, me and my sisters growing up. So I was, I was lucky in that regard. Um, you know, dad's still, dad's still my best mate. I speak to him every couple of days, and um, like I said, very lucky in that regard. And 
Um, yeah, it, it's been a bit of a journey the last couple of years, but um, you know, it's without the support of these guys around me, the, the boys in the club and the coaching staff, it, it doesn't happen. But um, essentially, at the end of the day, um, Brittany and, and the boys are the ones who have kept me going the last couple of years with the, in regards to footy. It's um, you know, I've had a lot of time out off the game and um, missed out on a lot. Um, but I've had two beautiful boys and a wife there you know, every step of the way to, to help me get back to, to where I am. And um, this week's about um, Brittany and, and the kids and, and mum and dad and um, all my teammates and uh, my family and friends at home. And, um, you know, there's Stick and Don as well. Um, the Donnie, Donnie's been there from day one and then Stick, Stick come down and had the, had the courage to make me captain of this club <coughs> at such a young age. Um, you know, I'm very grateful for those, they're, and their mates. They're, they're, they're just their mates. Um, that's how I see them. And Tay wants to have a chat as well. But um, like I said, there's plenty of guys to thank, and um, everyone in this room, I love you all very much. So thank you.